Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about operators in Oracle integration. So here, this is the Oracle integration generation three instance, and here we will learn about the operation operators. How many operators are there in Oracle integration, and from where we can access? So the first thing is that in from where we can access. So whenever we are saying that operator, we need to use. We can use operator while mapping, while creating variables, assigning value variables. That kind of doing operations on variable that places we can use the operators. So first, I will show you in the mapper. So suppose this is my mapper. I have created a simple integration to show you the operators. So once you will click here, double click here, you can see in the right hand corner you can see the icon. Once you will expand here, you can see the functions components. Right in components we have functions and operators. In this video, we will completely talk about operators. Once you will expand the operators, you can see all the operators listed here. So all each and every operators we can use in our integration for mapping, for providing the variables to value, value to variables, and many more. So here you can see. Suppose this is our response, and here we want to map the operators and all, right? So suppose we have to oper use operator something like that. Two, we have two variables, and we have to use that operator for that. So we can simply use additional operator and operator the components. Compute node set operator division operator. Here we have we have operator for equal for checking the the condition is true or not, and we have greater than that all these thing equals greater than we can use in if statement we can use in while statement, and here you can see that we have modulus operator to find the remainder multiplication not of not equals or subtract operation and the unary operation. So suppose if we want like five plus four. We can directly use five point six. Even if we don't want, we can remove and we can drag here, subtract operator here. So that kind of operator provided default in Oracle integration, so that we can use use that kind of operator here. So I will create videos where we will use implementation for each and every operations based on requirement. So we will create videos and in every videos we will see. The first thing we see that for in mapping from where we can use that the operators. Second, we I will show you the in while creating the variables, assigning value to variable we can use. So suppose let me create one variable. Suppose I created one variable like var one, and in the var one, if I want to assign the value, suppose in var one we have zero, and let me create var two. Var two again I have assigned to zero, right? Var two. Now suppose I am going to create another variable. var3 and what i want i want var3 should be the value of var1 plus var2 so what we can do we can drag here var1 and once you will go to functions here you can see operator expand that and if you want to add just we can drag here addition operation and here we have two val2 right so you can see var1 plus var2 so once you will click here you can see var1 plus var2 so instead of var plus operation we can have multiple operators we can use that operators for our different different operations if we want to find the remainder of var1 and var2 we can use that we have we have the question modulus operator here we can use mod so suppose we want a more var2 mod we var1 so here if we will go we can add here so it will return back the result of the remainder so that kind of operation we can perform using just provided in oracle integration So let's thank you so much for watching. Let's wait in next video. In next video, we will discuss about the functions, right? Predefined functions. Then after we will create separate videos where we will discuss about that the XLT functions. Thank you so much for watching.